and welcome back to our channel. Oola, oola, oola. What's up, what's up, what's up? I'm honey. I'm Smooch. And we are the sisters. Ninga, ninga, ninga. Mm -hmm. All right. And for everybody that's new here, thank you for subscribing. Anybody that's been following us, we want to thank you. For your support, we are greatly appreciative of it. If you can, make sure you hit that notification button so you know when we on here popping our shit, that'll be greatly appreciated. Now, we gonna get straight into it without further ado because I can't stand them damn YouTube videos. It take a long time to get to the motherfucking point. Thank you. Hello. All right. So, <laughs> with the first topic, right? So, now some of these topics are topics that people DM to us, ask us in person, or we decided that we it was a question that we wanted to talk, a topic that we wanted to talk about. All right? So the first question is, why are women ashamed of telling their partner they have a yeast infection or maybe a bacteria infection? I'm going to let Smooch go ahead with this one first. I mean... Bitch, I ain't scared to tell a nigga that I got a yeast infection. Um... Bitch, if I got one, that mean we can't fuck. That mean you can't eat my vagina. That mean we can't do nothing. So therefore, I gotta tell you. And if you fuck with me on that type of level, and bitch, you that's that's something that you should fucking understand already. Cause I'm a woman that happens naturally. Like it's not like oh you get a yeast infection because you just this nasty ass bitch. Like no, you can get a yeast infection from different things. But you got some women out here that scared to tell these niggas, and that will literally fuck a nigga. Why they got a yeast infection? And shit. that shit sound like it hurt. That shit sound like it don't even feel good. Cause I know how it feel to have a yeast infection, and I don't want nobody touching me, bitch. Don't touch me when I got a fucking yeast infection because that shit just made me feel, ah, uh, blah. Shit hurt like a fuck. So, yeah, that's how I feel about it. <laughs> uh, hold on. Well, I mean, this is off topic, but let me just say this because I just noticed this. Why your voice so raspy? Because I was part... <laughs> Listen, I was over here trying to get it together by drinking this wine, but bitch, it still sound like I sound like a nigga. <laughs> I don't know, it do sound, sound raspy, like a, a nigga. <laughs> I don't know, bitch, probably because this weekend, I don't know, I was partying, y'all. Hanging and banging, slanging that shit. She was slanging that shit. But, um, uh, I think that it's just the fact of some women just not, as informed as we should be and a lot of men are not informed so therefore they'll make you feel like you just the nastiest person on earth because you got a yeast infection if you not as informed as you supposed to be knowing what it is where it come from you know how to get rid of it and how to take care of yourself then you're gonna feel you know ashamed to say anything you're not gonna want to say nothing to him you're gonna want to just take care of it on your own and then you know go back to fucking with him afterwards. But I'm a, like she said, if y'all on that type of time, it shouldn't be nothing. You ain't able to tell him, especially when it comes down to something that ain't that damn serious at all. That is not like, that's not no deep shit. There ain't no like bitch life or death for you dying or some shit like that. And if I fuck with a nigga, but I don't fuck with him like that, like that on that type of level. And I, don't have to, I don't have to fucking tell you. I'm just going to handle it. And during that time, we just ain't going to fuck. And I don't owe you no explanation on why we ain't going to fuck. And don't. But if you my man, then that means that we done, we have a clear on this. You done seen some shit that ain't nobody else done seen. I done did some things in front of you. You done probably had to oil my ass a couple times or two. So, you know, we on that type of time. But I think. Real, real, like real nigga shit. I think that people just not informed. Men are not informed. Women are not informed the way we supposed to be. Some of us wasn't raised with, you know, a woman who teaches us how, who taught us how to take care of our bodies and so on and so forth. And some of us had to learn on our own. So it's the lack of information for me. That's what I think. And is. guys, if you don't know what no yeast infection is, before you go to call this bitch all type of nasty ass bitches, cottage cheese. Just look that shit up. Oh, that's a nasty asshole. Da, da, da. She got shit coming out her pussy. Just look the shit up to see what a yeast infection is. And once you look it up, you will see that the shit is perfectly fucking normal. Girl, you could tell them that shit and they still going to talk about a bitch like a dog. They, they, that's that's for them childish ass niggas. There you go. That's there you for go. them little boys. There you go, babe. So if you can't tell, if you feel like you can't tell him what's going on with your body, 
Then, sweetheart, that ain't your man. And, y'all and you ain't. talking to a little ass boy. Exactly. You need to move the fuck on and go get you a real man. Because real man understand real shit. Okay. Now, I'm going to check, make that shit and move on to the next topic because I said what I said. <laughs> All right. So, what's your response to a man that asks you, what else do you bring to the table besides pussy? Uh, for me, I would say my biggest thing is peace because I'm at a peaceful place in my life. So, I bring peace. You know, I bring stability because I come to the table with my own shit. So, I don't need your shit, but having it is nice. Um... <laughs> I ain't going to never turn it down, all right? Uh, you know, I, obviously, everybody should know whether you male, male or female, you should know how to cook, you should know how to clean, so that's not like a, wow, she cooks and cleans. That's like, okay, cool. All that right, comes boom. with the shit. You she should not, already be down with the shit. Exactly. You should know how to do that shit on your own. But my biggest thing is peace, moral support. You know, and whatever it is that you're doing, I'm always support you, babe. Even if you just my little friend and you sell little drugs, I'ma be like, babe, you better be the best fucking drug dealer. You and bitch, be. you better not get caught. And don't, cause I don't know nothing. Cause he ain't tell me nothing. And if I do know something, they call for me. I'm telling. Oh, cause let me remind y'all, this is snitch ass <laughs> bitch right here. I'm a tell, bitch. I I'm tell a saying like a I motherfucking whistle, bitch. You ain't even gotta ask me. Oh yeah, cause he went to John John house and look, AJ gave him this and uh, I bitch. told him not to get that shit to me. I told him that I wasn't part of his life, but he didn't believe me. He was like, "Babe, you a rider," and I was like, "I'm telling you, I can't do it." And he did it anyway. Girl, shut the fuck up. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Well, I got to bring to the table. <sighs> I got my own shit, so I got my own money. Me, you are well, you having money is a plus for me, cause bitch, I want some it. I ain't never gonna tell you no. Don't give me your money, snap, bitch. Snap, no. Snap, snap. Um, like she said, peace. I'm a very peaceful person. I don't like drama. I don't like bullshit. I don't like none of that. I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like, <laughs> I don't like none of that, cause I'm a very down earth person. So I need I need me a down earth nigga. Um, what else? Um, love. I'm a lover. I'm a love book. If I like you, if you like you. <laughs> and uh, what else? I bring. I cook. I clean. You know, I cook when I feel like it. But for the most part, bitch, I be cleaning up. <laughs> I'm a cook. I'm a clean. Jody. I'm a cook mm-hmm. and cleaning. Wash everything in. So he can write that check, paying all, all the your bills. bills. <laughs> you give it to me. <laughs> you know, I give, give it, it to me. you. Oh baby. If you don't know about that Tyler Perry shit, you you know you don't know. Bitch, that. I feel like he's turning when I hit that. Oh baby, cause that's how she be. <laughs> Nut bush. Oh, nut bush. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to spin that shit to the next topic. All right. Now, this is uh, something that's been brought up to my attention. And <sighs> some of the guys on social media, they like, um, well, you know, if something do happen to her, she get raped, then she was asking for it because of the way that she dressed. Why she dressing like that if she don't want if she don't want that shit, why she dressing like that? And that shit don't... Listen, if I come outside with a fucking handkerchief around my damn neck and nothing else on, that does not mean I want Carl from across the fucking street to come over here and have sex with me. Oh, I want Billy Bob from the motherfucking gas station. To come over here and sexually harass me or touch on me. I know. So just because a female dress how she dressed, very provocative or whatever, that doesn't mean she wants you to come fucking touch her. If she wants you to come touch her, she will say, hey, cartel, come over here and tear this ass up. I need some of that dick. That's what she going to say, ain't it? That's what she going to say, ain't it? <laughs> she going to She gonna invite you. Everybody, we, we know. She's going to invite you to the pussy. You don't need to come and rape nobody because she dressed and how take she dressed. it. Just because I come out the house with a motherfucking crop top on, bitch, I love my crop tops. And do. Bitch, I come out the house with a crop top on or a short Wait, dress. First of all, we live in South Florida. It's 96 degrees outside. Bitch, I ain't wearing no motherfucking sweater. Bitch, I ain't wearing all these motherfucking clothes either. Hello, somebody. But if I got on a short dress, I'm trying to say, (laughs) if I got on a short dress or whatever it is that I got on, that don't mean I want you to come and fuck on me. 
Fuck what type of What type of crazy shit is that And if you feel like that You a sick in the head ass motherfucker Like Is your brain Butt fucking your face I heard I heard that on, on TV <laughs> I heard that on TV It was this show I was watching And you know You know how uh, White people be talking They be saying the damnest things Like bitch what That shit ain't even make no sense But anyways Yeah like what the fuck Who else? If you think like that, you a sick ass motherfucker. You really is because what the fuck? That, and, that unless I verbally say, everything should go off of what I verbally say. It ain't no reason why you talk about oh well she was moving sexy or she was moving in a in a provocative way or she or she walked pro- past me and looked at looked me looked at me sexy bitch she wants me no bitch if I say I want you that means I want you if I don't fucking tell you that I don't want you don't bring your ass over here fucking with me. Right, right, right. Fucking, and we said what we said. So all for y'all, y'all fucking losers, you motherfuckers who be trying to, you know, rape people and sexually harass them because of the way they dressed. And oh, you a hoe because you dress like this. Fuck you. The first thing they be like, ain't ain't no woman of mine's walking out the house like that. But you was just fucking with Larkisha, and Larkisha you know, had them. Things all up her ass with you know, a little ass crop top on. They don't want their wife to look and dress like that. They want their wife to be presentable, which is something that I completely understand because not all the time you need to show everything. So I get that. I 100% get mic. that. But my mic. Oh, I 100% do get that. But at the same time, if you want to dress sexy, then dress sexy, ladies. It ain't nothing wrong with dressing sexy. And if your man disapproves of it, then, you know, that's your man. And you got in a relationship with him. You knew the shit he was going for and what he wasn't going for before you got in a relationship with him. So, bitch, that's on you. All I'm saying is don't try to judge people because of the way they, they look they look or they the way dress. that they dress. Because ain't nobody judging you for looking how you looking, bitch. When y'all be wearing these, what they call them, or uh, what they call them, uh, hoochie daddy <laughs> <laughs> Hoochie daddy hoochie shorts Hoochie daddy shorts Y'all be wearing Hoochie daddy shorts Nobody don't be You know Judging you looking Oh he he must want it In his, in his ass Or when they be sagging like Or when they be sagging their pants Like yeah. their pants Be all the way down there I do be judging I do be like Y'all need to pull Your motherfucking Fuck your pants, pants up. up Or when they pants They pants be like Super tight Like this motherfucking mic And they clothes be like Stuck to them like Nigga where you holding Your balls at Like it gotta be there Or you tucking it You gotta be tucking it Cause what the fuck you putting in And why Your pants so goddamn tight Bitch What are the dick and balls at To Giving very much drag and That I ain't Just because you wear little pants That don't mean I'm saying you gay No you. So therefore not. Just because I got on what I got on Don't Bitch try to motherfucking judge me Or don't try to say She want She want this shit Or his name is Sam, and bitch, I am Sam. I am going to give Loretta this shit. I'm going to take that shit tonight. I felt like I was on TV. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we, we going to move the fuck on because Loretta over there. <laughs> um, now, do you, are you, is this you, bitch? Are you the person who takes off the condom, or do you let him take off the condom? So the first time you had unprotected sex after y'all fuck with a condom, not out the gate y'all was having unprotected sex. I'm saying after y'all had sex with a condom and y'all got familiar with each other, did you take out the condom first or did he take out the condom? Um, let me see. Cause it done went both ways a few times. So uh, it done been a time where I've been like, take out the condom. You don't be saying it like that. You be like, damn, pay, take the condom. No, I just be like, take this off. Mm-hmm. I be like, take this off. And oh, yeah. Getting so hot and heavy. <laughs> getting so hot and heavy in here. <laughs> or it done been a time where <clears throat> a nigga done took it off. And you ain't stopping. No, because we we on that type of time. Not no, oh, I'm just fucking with you and I like you, but. I don't like that nigga. He done tried to take the condom off. And I was like, oh, what you doing? I got to want you to do the shit. You can't just do the shit and just, I got to want you mm. to do that shit. Mm. Yep. Mm. 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 Bitch, I got to want you to take it off. If I don't want you to take it off, bitch, you not taking it off. You done ruined the whole vibe. Yeah. I only want to fuck you. That way. The fly way. 
Um, <laughs> last time I had done took off the condom, I got pregnant. So <laughs> uh, I just leave it the fuck on. That's it. Just leave it on. If we started without a condom, we gonna finish without a condom. We started with the condom, we finishing with the condom because obviously. You know, so you ain't never have a time where you started with the condom on and then when y'all ended, the condom was not on because you took it off or he took it off? Yeah, I just said when I did that shit, I got pregnant. So that was the only time you did that shit? That was the only time I did that. Mm. That, was the only t- that was the only time I did The only time I took the condom off was that time. And then after that, we had did it one more time and then I got pregnant. If we would have just kept doing it with a condom, then I probably wouldn't have got pregnant at that time you know but still that's the only time i can remember me taking the condom off most of the time it either fall off because you know that shit be so wet not just like <laughs> it either it's fucking dick little you ever had that happen to you the dick was so little the bitch couldn't stay in the condom like <laughs> that done happened to me and or the, or the condom done been halfway off or the condom was half by the time he put it out put it on right he was listen niggas is stupid but yeah, but I don't never remember me a time besides that time that I took off the condom. Because if he came in with the intentions, this is how I think. If he came in with the intentions and he put the condom on, then I'm going to just leave the condom on. But I really liked him. I really liked him. <laughs> At the time, I really, really liked him. And I just wanted some raw dick. I ain't going to lie. I really did. <laughs> I wasn't getting no you, raw dick. You I wanted, wanted to see how that shit felt? Yeah. I mm. really wanted to know how it felt. Cause well, how was it? It was good at the time. It right. Was, it was good at the time. But, yeah, that was the only time I remember doing that shit. If you recall another time, bitch, let me know. Oh, no, because, you know, I ain't the one to tell a bitch business. It's my world. Well, she could hear me in private because I don't remember. But anyway, I'm gonna move on before he starts telling me. <laughs> Let's move on to the next topic. Why do women forgive a man faster than their own family? I think it's because, besides the fact that he's dropping dick, I think it's he. She got to go home to him. She don't have to go home to you. I don't have to go home to this bitch. I ain't got to be bothered with your ass either well, on a day to day basis. Exactly, bitch. I got to be home with this nigga. So you damn right. I'm gonna try to resolve whatever the issue is that we got going on faster than I resolve the issue with you because bitch, I don't see you all the time. Now, me speaking for me, if you are somebody that's close to me then I don't try to have issues with you. If it's something that I felt a certain kind of way about, if I made you feel a certain kind of way, I might let you, you know, just woosa because I know I probably did some fuck shit. Maybe I came off the wrong way and you need to cool off, but I'm going to always try to come back and talk to you, right? Mm -hmm. I don't never just let a situation just go on and on it because I don't have time for that because, bitch, this is my best friend. And then, you know, my sisters is my sisters. And, Bitch, my brother's bitch, whatever. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> my sisters, like, them is my peeps. So I try to keep the air cool with all of my sisters. But as far as my man or a man goes, I think that females resolve issues faster with him because one, they live together. They live together. And, bitch, I need to not be walking around all the time with attitude unless you're that type of bitch. And, two, he dropped me dick after we finished fighting and arguing. Bitch, he about to draw some dick and probably some fire his head. So, I'm going I'm, to I'm stay over here with him. What yeah, mm, I would have to agree. <clears throat> I would definitely have to agree because it takes up a lot of energy to be mad and attitude and all that extra shit. And plus, I got to wake up to your motherfucking ass. And even if you go sleep on the couch, bitch, I still got to see you inside my motherfucking house. And I got to. So, that means all these days I got to mm-hmm. walk around the house with attitude and act like I don't see you, but I really see you. Mm-hmm. And not fix your fucking food on purpose. Yeah. And I normally fix your shit. Make sure it's nice and neat. And I put it in the microwave and heat it up for you. But this time, bitch, I didn't fix it. I left the yeah, plate right no. there. Everything all right the fuck there. You can fix it yourself. Bitch, exactly. you got hands. And you got feet. <laughs> Get up and go do it your motherfucking self. Yeah, bitch, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> but now, I want to know, are you... All y'all that's watching. Are you the kiss and tell type of person? Cause I'm not. I like my business to be my business. Don't if whatever we did behind closed doors, if the door was closed and wasn't nobody else in here with us, nobody else don't need to know what the fuck happened in here. If I did the shit outside, then everybody know because I did it outside. Cause I wanted them to see and I wanted them to know. If I did it in the house, 
bitch, don't tell nobody my business. That's that's the fastest way for me to stop talking to you. Like I would Yeah, that's the quickest way for me to drop a bitch like <sighs> Like a hot pocket, you know. Drop hot a bitch. Be hot. Like a fucking part tart. Like <clears throat> a fly. Like a roach. But yeah, bitch, my business is my business. So, bitch, what the fuck you gonna tell the next nigga? What the fuck you running your mouth to the next? What you think he gonna do? When you go tell him how good I gave you a Google Gobble three thousand, and then I had that swishy swishy swoosh swoosh. Bitch, I want to see what that shit be like. God, I don't want to see what that shit be like. He's gonna go right here. To the back, though. Yes. What the fuck you telling him my motherfucking business for? And guess what? I don't what? like shit like that. Like, why? If I, bitch, first of all, I should not hear from another nigga or somebody else. Damn, smooch, I heard you fuck such, such, such. I know I ain't telling nobody. So, bitch, you out here running your motherfucking mouth. So, now I can't fuck with you. Damn, smooch, why you stop fucking with me? Bitch, you, bitch, you running. Much. You talk too much. You talk like a like bitch. That. And I don't I like that. I think a little baby said, one one person come tell me we fucking, you done? You block. You one block. person come tell me we fucking, you, you block. Because, bitch, that ain't nobody else's business. It don't matter how high I am or how low, how, how high he is. It don't matter how low he is. Whether I fuck the ball player or a fucking senator or I fuck fucking janky ass John, John John over there at the fucking corner store, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Don't tell my goddamn business. And I ain't going to be out here. I, listen, that's why I do shit by myself. Because I ain't going to tell on myself. I ain't telling on myself, bitch. But, you know, niggas be wanting other people to know. Like, niggas be wanting niggas to know who they fucking. Damn, because she a badass bitch or she mm-hmm. look good. So, they want all the niggas to know they the who they rights. fucking. They, yeah. With, with these bitches, too. They want... These hoes know who they fucking cause this nigga ball player or He's a he got this nigga this going on, that going on, bitch. I want y'all hoes. No, bitch. Huh. I'm fucking with a boss. A real boss. It don't matter, bitch. If I'm fucking with that nigga, ain't nobody gonna know. Cause I'ma I ain't gonna it, tell nobody. I'ma keep it so real. He gonna always come back and fuck with me. Always. I ain't gonna say not a fuck thing. Cause bitch, that ain't the bitch business. Nah, bitch, if you do something to hurt me and I have to tell the police, then I'm going to have to tell. I'm going to have to tell. Oh, yeah, that's different. That's bitch, that's I'm the police. Tell. It's not like you out here telling fucking LaQuisha. Nah. LaQuisha, you know I fuck David, bitch. Do you know David got money and he a ball player? Girl, one thing about David, bitch, David is dropping the coins, okay? And we was at such, 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 and girl, I fucked him, and girl, and, and she gonna, what? Now LaQuisha gonna want to go see what the fuck that shit about, because, bitch, I want me some, too. Now LaQuisha about to go when she gonna get her hair done. She got she about to tell Nene, girl, you know, look, uh, uh, Chanel was over there fucking. Such, oh, such, yeah. Such, such. Now your whole damn business in the nail shop. Now it gets back to him. Now he done cut your ass off. Because you talk too much. Ladies, keep your fucking mouth closed. <laughs> keep your fucking mouth closed. That's all I gotta say. That's all that's it. Moving on. Are you oh, are you to tell it like it is, friend, or are you the one that try to spare your friend's feeling? Feelings. Bitch, I'ma tell it how it is. Ho, if you wrong, you wrong, bitch. If you right. Now, you, you was right about that. But, ho, if you dead as wrong, I'm going to tell you that you dead as wrong. I'm going to tell you why you was dead as wrong. Because, bitch, you ain't have to say all that. Huh? <sighs> you ain't even have to say all that. She stay telling me that. But I be having <laughs> to tell her, bitch, I be having to, you can't just say a little bit and then let people be able to put their own story together. No, you got to give them the whole fucking context. This is what I said and this is why I said it. So now you understand why I said what the fuck I said. So if I just say a little portion of it, you're going to be like, well, why the fuck you said all that? You ain't even, but if I tell you the whole thing, then you're like, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. I see why you said what you said. You get what I'm saying? Like a bitch taking a piece of your clip. And running running off and telling everybody you said this. But when you watch the full clip, then you know exactly what I said and how I meant it. That's why, bitch, I be having to give a bitch a little details because don't play with me. And but, then on top of that, also, um, if we friends, bitch, you got to be hard body. Because I talk aggressive. I talk shit. I say all type of shit out my mouth. And, ho, if you can't handle it, then we can't be friends because the way I talk to you, ho, you can talk to, you could give, bitch, I accept that same energy. Yeah, and she be cursing me out. Bitch, if you can't hang, you can't hang, bitch. You can't hang. I don't know what to tell you. I, I talk aggressive, bitch. And I say what the fuck I said. And if you don't like it, then, bitch, tell me you don't like it. And after you tell me you don't like it, I still ain't gonna give a fuck. Because I don't give a damn. 
<laughs> at all. Um, no I fucks. am the if I'm your friend, then I'm gonna talk to you as a friend. If I'm just your associate and we know we not on that type of time, I'm gonna talk to you like an associate. I'm gonna just listen to what you got to say, but I ain't gonna have nothing to say back because I'm gonna be like, mm, damn. Mm, that's crazy I'm gonna hit you with those responses because that ain't got shit to instead do with of me. your opinion instead of my opinion because you're not my friend so I'm not giving you my opinion because you're not asking me for my opinion you just want somebody to vent to we ain't on that type of time so I'm gonna keep my and plus you just telling me bits and pieces and bits and pieces you telling me what the fuck you wanna know that what you want me to know I don't be on that so I just be buying my business but if you're my friend then I'm gonna tell you Bitch, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what it is because I want somebody to tell me. Sometimes when it's you that's going through something, you don't see this shit right in front of you because you so headstrong on whatever the fuck it is that you all fucked up about. But the next person that's not, the next person, they see like, what the fuck is going on? Let me go talk to this girl because what in the hell is she? Bitch, she tripping. She see that you tripping or he see that you tripping to come talk to you and, you know, that's what real friends do. But... I am also the type of friend that ain't going, I'm going to treat as like a relationship. And the relationship, when your partner wrong, you don't say nothing right there in front of all these people. Because guess what? At the end of the day, bitch, you still got to go home that nigga. So you got to support him. If he wrong, just say, come on. You ain't got to, you know, go back. Just come on. When you get behind closed doors, bitch, you was dead ass wrong. You know you was dead ass wrong. You shouldn't have did that shit. You was dead ass wrong. Cause when you get behind closed doors. So for me, for my friends, when I get behind closed doors, then, you know, I'm going to say how I feel. But why we like, if it's me and her and we in front of other people. Because she damn sure be handing it to my ass. I ain't going to be doing all that in front of other people. Because, bitch, even if I know these people, they don't need to know, you know, like, we on a different type of time when we get behind closed doors. Bitch, I know shit. She know shit. We know shit. These people know what we want them to know. So if we go, you go to talking, trying to tell a bitch how they wrong. Now you done told bitch business and shit, right? Pretty much. So, yeah, I I just, I tell her how it is behind closed doors, but in front of everybody else, bitch, girl, just come on. <laughs> just come on. Just bring your ass. Bring your come ass so on. I can hear your ass to your so I can hand your ass to you when we get inside this motherfucking car or inside this motherfucking house. Well, uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, do you think you can be a scripper? No. No. It's a no for me because I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm lazy. Like, I do like a little one, two. I maybe got like a cold 15, maybe 20 seconds if I'm really lit. Maybe even 30 if I'm really on, depending on what, that cause me, girls, we have to be, I be going wild on that shit. But anyway, yeah, no, bitch, because I don't got energy for that. And that take a lot of work. And I be mad as hell, I'm up there dancing, a fucking, and the five damn songs, and the bitch ain't so nothing but $3? A dollar, bitch, nothing? No, yes, and they be getting disrespected, and the bitch don't fucking play with me, because I've been there, cussed your ass out, don't fucking touch me like that. Like, damn, bitch, you a stripper. I don't give a fuck if I was a motherfucking nun, bitch. And they gonna be like, well, what the fuck you here for? We can't touch you. Bitch, see exactly, what you Exactly, and that's the exact reason why I can't be a stripper because, and I tried to do that hookah shit and do them fucking hookahs and them bitches was touching me and I was not on that shit. Shit, take, bitch, I quit. And I needed that money. I needed that fucking money. I need that money. I need that money, Frankie. But you got me fucked up. I had so much attitude. The people was like, you can't be like that. And I was like, fuck that, bitch. I, the strippers are over there. Don't fucking touch me like that. They didn't like it. So I was like, all right, cool. And I quit. I see the same for me. It ain't. Um, Can I be a stripper? <sighs> no. I always wanted to be a stripper, though. I but can be a stripper it, behind closed doors. Yeah, it, it takes up for... First of all, I don't want to get up there on that stage and all these people looking at me like like they want to like eat my ass or something, which they, they probably do. do. But I don't want to get up there on that stage and all these people looking at me and they touching on me and they putting the money. But be- I hate when I go to the script club and I see a nigga put money between a bitch poo- coochie. Or they slap your ass too hard. Or they slap your ass too hard like... Don't do that. Like that, that shit. That nigga we went to the club. Well, we didn't go to the club. <laughs> that with shit him, hurt. But we seen him out there and he was slapping his girl ass like And she was red. Like 
slapping this girl ass so hard to the point the girl just went the fuck home. She went. She didn't even want to dance no more. She just went home. Went the fuck home because that shit fucking hurt. That's and disrespectful. People yeah. treat strippers like they like homeless people. Like, and and I'm uh, I'm not saying like the strippers are homeless. What I'm saying is when people, some people, when they look at a homeless person, like ew, like bitch, get the fuck away from me. Like you've been, you're not, you're not worthy. That's the same way some people treat strippers. Like, they not worthy like of no whores. respect. Like, yeah, they treat them like whores. Like, I don't have to respect you because, bitch, you ain't respecting yourself. Because you out here dancing on the pole. Bitch, somebody got to do the motherfucking job. If somebody got to do the job. So, you ain't out here doing it. I'm doing it. So, bitch, put some motherfucking respect on my name, bitch. And throw them fucking dollars and back the fuck up. That's the type of strip I would be in. I'd be like, damn, bitch, you you acting aggressive like Megan. Uh-uh, we don't want you. <laughs> uh-uh, give me the other one. But so, I could be mm-mm. a stripper behind closed doors, bitch. I got this little fantasy in my head. She was a stripper, y'all. She was. Oh, I, behind, I was. Yeah. I was. A, yep. I did my one night only, did. bitch. She I did, did my one night only. She did. And I made me some some dollars or whatever. But, no, um, what, what the shit called? It's in Okeechobee where they had a little fantasy room. With the little heart shaped um tub and girl ain't no fucking Okeechobee. That's right there oh, in Miami. Well, bitch, I thought it was <laughs> Okeechobee. <laughs> Loud and roll, but I wanted to go there and bitch, I wanted to do me a one night only, bitch. That's my fantasy in my head. Everybody got a fantasy. What's yours? But that. Never mind. I'm gonna leave it like that. I ain't even gonna say nothing else. I'm gonna leave that alone. Mm mm mm. So now this the last topic and this is somebody I ain't going to say who but somebody brought this to our attention. If your friends stink, do you tell your friend that she stink or do you just let friends just be stink? Bitch, I'm going to tell you cuz I want you to tell me if you smell a little <laughs> You feel me, but I'm like, I'm, I ain't gonna say it in front of everybody. Like, damn girl, you stank it in the bitch. I ain't gonna say it like that. I'ma just, I'ma just pull you to the side, or I'ma come whisper in your ear. Nine times out of ten, I'ma pull you to the side, cause bitch, I can't whisper. I talk loud as fuck. fuck. So I pull you to the side, and I be like, bitch, oh, you a little, you a little stinky. Rather she musky is, rather her coochie, bitch. I ain't gotta say exactly what it is, bitch. You know, Wait, you a little rank. Yeah, you a little stanky girl. You a little rankin' ain't ain't or some shit like that. But I ain't gonna embarrass her in front of fucking everybody. Like, no. I mean, you stank, but you ain't stank, stank. But you stank. I mean, yeah, bitch, you stank, but she ain't stank, stank. But girl, yeah, I just want to come tell you because I don't want nobody else talking about you. For real, like, <laughs> I don't want nobody else talking about you. And nine times out of ten, I just feel like if you can smell yourself before somebody else can smell you. True. So. With that being said, why you, why, why, why is you been out here like that? <laughs> Not understand, like, if you done been outside all day, because no, you know. No, 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 that ain't true. What? Because some people house just be smelling how it smell. And oh, and yeah, and everybody they don't. got a house smell. A house smell. So once you in it, whether your house smell good or it don't smell good, you immune to that smell. So you may not smell what everybody else smell, which is fucking stank shit. So when you walk out your house, what you smell like? Your house? Your house. So. But, bitch, you, I'm still going to fucking tell her. If you're my friend, I'm going to tell you. If you're not my friend, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to be like, oh, that's just thing. <laughs> I ain't going to I don't nothing. care what type of, okay, if I know that's how your house smell and that's what you smell like, then... I ain't gonna say shit, cause bitch, you know your bitch. I'm nine times out of ten, I already done, I already done said something to you about it before. But if I smell some other shit out of the ordinary that some, don't smell like your house, some tunny cat, like some tunchy cat, tunchy cat, or some must musky or something like that, or bitch. Some, I'm some pole cat, pole cat, yeah, pole cat, possum, bitch. If I smell some other shit that's not the regular smell like your fucking house, bitch, I'm gonna tell you, cause friend, I don't want nobody to talk about you. I don't be, I'll just be my And friend. if you get offended, then bitch, you're not my friend. That's why you got to know who your friends are, who not your friends. Because not everybody, 
Bitch, that ain't me, that's you. Now, now you done pulled them bitches to the side. You done pulled this bitch to the side to tell her, you know, you a little, you know, you're not right right now. You know, you like a you know, avocado, you know? <laughs> but you put this bitch to the side to tell her she a little funky and all of a sudden, bitch, that ain't me, ho. That's you smelling like that. Wait a minute. Wait, wait the fuck a minute, bitch. I right, And if a bitch do... do you like that, then that hoe ain't your friend because you ain't even have to. If you do that to me, I'm be like, y'all smell her. Ain't she stink? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, ain't she stay? But no, most of the time, majority of the time, all of the time, I ain't got many friends, bitch. So if you stink, bitch, you stink. I ain't gonna tell you that. Cause like she said, shit, you smelt yourself before. Before I smelt you, you smelt you. You know what pussy smell like, you know what your house smell like. You know what musk smell like, and you know what your damn house smell like. So you know the difference between the two. You need to make sure you take care of your hygiene shit. My friend, I'm going to be like, oh, friend, you smell a little stain. I mean, you ain't stain, stain, but you a little stain. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> and friend going to be like, oh, bitch, for real. And then she going to go Because, bitch, with. you know how I talk. So go do what she need to do. It ain't going to be no, know. like, in the offensive way. Like, like damn, puss ass, how you stuck it in the bitch? You need to go wash your motherfucking ass. First of all, bitch, <laughs> don't relax. talk to me like that. <laughs> and relax is all you had to do was pull a bitch to the side and be like, you a little stain. Oh, remember that video when them girls was dancing and oh. that one friend had them raised her leg up and they was like and they told her she was staying on the fucking on video. live I was like y'all was dead ass wrong for that and I wouldn't have fucked with them hoes no more cause bitch don't do that don't do that we in this room they not in this room so if I was staying y'all could have played that shit off and he he ha ha and end the live and then be like damn friend you a little stank nah, now you feel me cuz Bitch, you ain't gotta do me like that on live. Now my dog <laughs> circulating. Now everybody know her coochie can't stay. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. If it's your friend, tell your friend. If it ain't your friend, mind your damn business. Yeah, that's it. Because bitches be getting offended. When, even when they do be stink. And you tell they ain't your friend. And they really is stink. And you tell them that they stink. I bet you get offended. And will. So I just learned to mind my damn business. Yeah, I just sit there and look. Just like this. Mm-hmm. Hit your ass with that. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick. Mm. Now, this is the last topic. Did I say that was the last topic? Yeah. I did say this last topic. Okay, that was the last topic. We're, we're going to bring that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day. Because that topic is going to take us into like an hour and some change. So we want to we wanna keep it nice and short and sweet for y'all. Keep y'all coming back for more. We don't want to drag this shit the fuck out because nobody likes long ass videos. Okay. <laughs> I don't, y'all. I be skipping through it like, damn, bitch, when you gonna get to the shit that I came on here for? <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like that. Now, I would like to say for everybody that's not subscribed to our page, we are asking you to please subscribe. Because, bitch, right mm-hmm. now we at 66. We need subscribers. more subscribers. We need y'all to hit the notification button so y'all know we can we, make it to 100. You get what I'm saying? Help help real girls do real things because we <laughs> popping right now. All right? So if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. Shout, it out, shout us out on Instagram. And we on Instagram, right? Yeah, yeah. we on Instagram. Shout us out on Instagram. Smooch loves honey. On Instagram. Bitch, you know that we on motherfucking Instagram. No, I was about to say Twitter, but bitch, we oh. not on Twitter. So... Having said that, <laughs> anyway, um, tune in for the next on what on Mondays. Yeah, so they Mondays. drop on Mondays at five o'clock in the morning. Okay. So while you on your way to work, um, just while you at your boring ass security job waiting just, for seven o'clock to come, just watch us because we're gonna keep you entertained, entertained, and okay. we're gonna keep your ass awake. There you go, because you're gonna be like. <laughs> oh. Girl, the people, you know what? <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to fuck with y'all. I'm going to fuck with y'all. Because she about to make me punch her ass in the face. <laughs> but it's been real, y'all. I'm Honey. I'm Smooch. And we are the sisters. sisters. Okay? We going to keep popping our shit. Because that's what we do. That's what we do. Until next time, let's get this thumbnail. Bye, y'all.